Previously on The Potentialists. We're on our way to the hospital. <laughs> oh! Hopefully she's doing okay after the checkup. Ow! Like a big condom for real. <laughs> We've been here for like 10 hours. Oh! That freaked me out more than the wand. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Where are you going? Hospital field trip again. Again? Yeah. But this time you're going with it's not for a me. full group of people. Yeah. Much more popular than me. <laughs> <laughs> the veteran hospital fan. But before they made it to the hospital, they discovered something interesting. This is the first yes, thing I've ever done cool. a drive through prayer. This is very cool. Do you guys have any prayer petitions that you would like us to pray for? Yes, many. We're on our way to the hospital right now. You heal him, Lord, completely, and that he may, he may feel your love and your presence for us as family, Lord, and you provide for them whatever it is that they need, and you guide them in whatever path that they go. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Thank you. Pretty wild. That drive through. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Oh, I can get you a much better picture of Fat Val if you want one. I had like three chins at one point. I was bad. You, you were worse than Jabba? Hey, Wigger. I was. <laughs> Nobody is worse than Jabba. <laughs> Do you Jabba think Valerie was worse than Jabba? I was as big as Jabba yeah. in that picture he sent me. Girls, be careful when Serge comes into a party. And Serge brought the waiting room party to the receptionist's desk with an important question. What is wrong with these jeans? What is wrong with them? Oh, I'm she likes my jeans, you see this? Finally, after all the shenanigans while waiting, Bert got himself a hospital room where nurses soon came to ask about his pain. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. Anything here? No. Have you had any fevers? No. It's just to prevent you from getting nauseous. And shortly after the pain medicine was administered... No. Are you feeling it now, huh? That's <laughs> <laughs> good? Yeah. Yeah. You liked it, huh? <laughs> you feel better? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Is that a bath wipey? You like a kitty cat. Oh. You want me to give you a sponge bath later? Get out of here, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sabrina and Victoria made a trip through the eerily empty halls of the hospital to the cafeteria for food. Look at this long ass hallway. Oh, and it continues. It's just like a never ending road. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh, oh, what do you know? Oh, more road. Once finally in the ghost town cafeteria, Sabrina couldn't find much of interest. <laughs> So she turned to the vending machines. Okay. Having accomplished their mission, they headed back. Dude, it's such a long walk back. Oh, look at this. Dude, look at the back. Look at that. Feel the food. I swear. Mm. Look at that. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> it goes up. <laughs> Five second look. We're we gonna get the bagel too. Whoever got the bagel sure wouldn't have eaten it had they known it had been on a hospital floor. Mm -hmm. And we need to do the motivational moment. <laughs> so these guys are going to do it for me today. You want to motivate from the hospital bed? I was thinking about that. Welcome <laughs> back to the motivational moment. And even though I'm in the hospital today, some of my team members are with me and they're going to help me with this. You just covered it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not at the house. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so the message for today is... Stop covering the face. <laughs> I'm Welcome back time. to the motivational moment. Oh, okay. For like the third time. <laughs> Welcome back. Hold on a second. As you can tell, I'm not at the house, but we're still going to come through today and give you a message. So the question I have for you today is that if there was something that you can do and you can definitely not fail, what would that thing be? Then the doctor came in to check on Bert's pain. It was a nine and it dropped to like a seven. They gave me like a real small dosage and the pain was still bad. And there might be a micro perforation, which means a small leak. Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, 
subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?